TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 332, S&P 63, NASDAQ 100, 241, Russell's up 48, Semi's 121, that's the big winner. That's up 4%. Gold's up 4 bucks. Silver's up 17 pennies. Lights we crude back 14 cents trading at 114.06. 30 year Treasury down 1 point and 5 ticks, 138.24. Natural gas up 31 cents trading out at 827. With regard to the cash indice out here, the S&P 500. We now have a bullish crossover. Bullish crossover means, this is a TAS market breath bullish crossover, it means that we have more instruments now trading above the top of their daily profile versus those trading below the bottom of their profile. Above the top of the profile is bullish. Below the bottom of the profile is bearish, generally speaking. 128 instruments in all are trading above the top of their profile, whereas there's 54 below. So, haven't had, you can see the other crossovers here, both bullish and bearish. So definitely in the hands of the bulls right now. The weakness would come from the weekly time frame chart. Lots of damage out there. So there's still some jostling around. It's not like it's a free ride up to the upside out here because the weekly time frame shows that there are 82 instruments trading above the top of their weekly profiles, whereas there's 177 trading below. If we take a look at the NDX 100 right now, again, just trying to get market breadth, we'll see that the daily time frame also has a bullish crossover. Not bullish crossover forming today. 25 instruments above the top of their profile, 14 below. Again, this has problems with regard to the weekly time frame. In the weekly time frame, seven instruments are only above the top of their weekly profile, whereas you've got 42 below. So a bit of a uh, market that, uh, you know, we're going to see buying and selling out here, but for all intents and purposes, what we have, and specifically today, is bullish signals for the equity markets, meaning that they should continue to rally. That just means you don't have a day or two that pulls back. But as long as the spot volatility, which currently is trading out at 25.94, remains below the 50-day expense moving average, which at 27.08, we should see the spot volatility make its way to 21.22. And if that happens, the spending will make its way to resistance. That's at 41.68. So, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David, fights up next. Combo Bride will take us on home. I'll be back with you on one Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday. Be safe out there.